What up? What up, Watson? What's up, Mercedes? What's up, Anthea? Misa. What's up, Misa? Misa, Misa. What up, Angelica? What up, baby girl? So within, so without. So many people are on here and full it out. Uh, what up? Come on here, really, really, mother's like quick. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you guys have a great beginning of your week. Tomorrow is Monday, self care Monday. All right, what up, Sherry? Hold on, I'm gonna flip the camera. There we go. Oh, wait, <laughs> hold on, there we go. Hey, 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 baby, what's up, baby? What up, what's up, smiley? <laughs> Hoping I'm good. You will never have to hope for that, Watson. I will always forever remain good. All right, let's see what's up. <laughs> what up, Seth? I haven't seen you on here in like a freaking minute. Someone here is starting to question their belief system. Um... Something here was destined to take place or destined to happen. Hmm. Always with the laugh. <laughs> baby. How's the little baby? Oh, I thought I had my other deck in here. Damn. I need to stop moving my decks around. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Ooh, enjoying heaven on earth, but it's in reverse. So I feel like someone here is going through like hell on earth pretty much. Um, and it's because their word is in shit. And I feel like it's like this person, whatever has taken place. Mm, thank you for that resubscription. It's like whatever the fuck has taken place. It's like this person's word is in shit. Um, It says right here, impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the kingdom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. Yeah, it's like someone here is like, their word means nothing. You know what I mean? It's like, this is someone that, what? <laughs> yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Excuse me. It says your best is changing all the time. And this is in the sideways position. So and you see how this girl's like on a horse. It's almost like someone here too is not letting go of I feel like fighting kind of like for yourself or it's almost like wherever the wind is taking you, bitch. It's like your ass is going like you ain't even trying to resist nothing. And I do feel like someone here is trying to block you from that shit. Like someone here is trying to push you off your horse, bitch. <laughs> um super glad to see you back um it says right here your best your best will depend on whether you are refreshed in your in the morning or tired at night your best will be different when you are happy as opposed to upset or healthy or opposed to sick under the circumstances simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment self-abuse and regret so it's almost like someone here was also trying to like um I want to say like hide to the fact that they were in regret, hide the fact that they were sick, hide the fact um, that they were, I feel like, abusing not only themselves, but other people. Um, what else? And this was because somebody was expressing their love to you. This is somebody that's jealous. Um, impeccability of the word can be measured by the level of self-love. Um, this is also about you showing yourself some self-love. Um, this person was jealous. This person's mad because it's like, you know, whatever they were doing had the complete opposite effect on you. So it's like, 
you're somebody that learns quick or you're somebody that um you understand things fast so it's like if if i think i had made a video where it said like you are not down for long so it's like you're someone that catches on to shit pretty fast what up l and it says if you love yourself you will express that love in interactions with others and that action will produce like a reaction it's almost like a domino effect you know what i'm saying like whatever this shit did it's like not only did this have the complete opposite effect um i keep trying to book a reading but then it wants me to confirm it's me through my old number really mm, that's weird did you make an account online or something I'll check that out right now. Give me like five minutes. Let me get through this beginning. That is so weird to confirm. It's you through your old number. I've never had anyone tell me that before. That's weird. Hmm. Did you change your number? <laughs> like, I don't know. That's fucking weird. Do you have a different email? Use your mom's email address or something. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. That's so weird. I've never had anyone tell me that. I'll check it out. I'll look to see like your info on the thing. My number's been messed up. I did change my number. I don't know. That's weird. Even if you did, like, I'll go check and see like on your um specific info or whatever and like try to delete something if it will let me and then I'll get back to you. I'll email you or whatever tomorrow. Um, But this is also about you almost like alchemizing a situation or turning it from a negative to a positive and then showing others love or showing others how to have love for themselves or even just by you doing whatever you're doing is like helping other people or leading other people down a path that someone wanted to pretty much steer you in a complete and different direction what up leo go through my mom's phone but it's my reading okay that's fine and i'll just email it through your email address um That is so weird. I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I could like maybe like reset it or something. Maybe that will work. Um, Look, it, it's like you're you're taking a leap of faith and you're moving in a whole nother direction. Like you're moving on. You're welcome. You're moving on to a whole nother direction. Um, And this was kind of destined to happen because it's helping you not only love yourself, but it's helping you learn how to even love others. Okay. Um yeah to love others i feel like um that are going through some kind of maybe civil uh similar or yeah some type of similar situation okay it's like you're not trying to reconcile with somebody or like people that have pretty much kept you stuck in the past and i feel like have pretty much been stuck in the same in the same type of energy i'm gonna put this here so it's like you're like fuck this shit. I'm doing something different. This is these are people that are used to doing the same thing. What up, mom? Just a mom, Arizona. Is that where you're from? Um, oof. Yeah, these are people that have like pretty much they they talk to this King of Pentacles in the reverse, and I I do feel like we went through like a whole week of divine masculine energy, and I feel like we're getting into divine feminine energy. So, hold on, let me see if I can. <laughs> there. Um, and I do feel like somebody here was connected to this King of Pentacles. Now, this is somebody that was very selfish. This is somebody that don't care. Like, they get gains off of other people's shit. So this is somebody that's like, I don't want to say like a pimp, but like this is definitely somebody who they feel like they're going to come up on somebody. So if you are <laughs> something is completely like this is somebody that like punks people out of their shit or at least they try to or they try to do it in a very strategic way. So, you know what I'm saying? They're able to benefit off of whatever it is that you do or that you have. And um, this is somebody that's like a thief. They like to take shit from people. And whether that be time, money, energy, whatever the case is, this person and this whole group of people are on the same boat. And they've been stuck in the same fucking energy forever. Now, these are people that have grown obsessed or like an obsession. Um, especially, I feel like, with you, Collective, because 
you're not reconciling with these people and they know damn well they're stuck because of the shit that they did to you in the past with this ten of swords in the reverse it's like this ten of swords is now reversed into their fucking back okay this is like 10 10 or 10 or more people this is even people that you don't even fucking know that are connected to this king of pentacles and this person's name or i'm sorry not their name but your name has been in this person's fucking mouth and these people know your name like they something about they know you they know who you are i'm gonna look right now in the comments in just a second yeah all this shit backfired so it's like this, this this is somebody that thought they were gonna like go ahead and seek revenge on you because you're not allowing this person to pretty much punk you and bring in other people in on some fucking bullshit baby you're back bitch <laughs> baby come back i'm gonna text you bitch i'm sorry i've had like the craziest i am just don't think that i'm not because i was like thinking about you earlier too while i was driving on the freeway i'm like fuck i gotta text her um and lizzie lives too you two are like my main squeezes <laughs> um shout out to lizzie lips i don't know if she's on here right now she's cupcaking it right now at the pad probably with coco and shit or her new boo <laughs> lizzie lips got the emperor yeah this is something that um now, whatever this person was planning, this fucking King of Pentacles, this is someone that knows this emperor. And so this emperor, I feel like they were trying to bring some kind of confusion or instability to an emperor here. Like they wanted this person to not know how to make up their mind or, yeah, something like that. And and this person's in regret because I feel like if this emperor over here was friends or even like a karmic friend, you know what I'm saying? It's like this emperor is in regret Somebody here who's like a boss who's above this person here is now realizing that this person has some kind of trickery energy and they're in regret because if they made decisions or worked together with this king of pentacles, they pretty much made like a deal with the devil and it was a bad deal. It was a bad investment. Um, whatever they did to confuse this emperor, it's like they wouldn't have been confused had they not dealt with these people that are connected with this ten of cups in the reverse and this king of pentacles. And I'm hoping that I'm making sense. Leave that shit in the motherfucking comments um yeah somebody here is in regret and it's this emperor here they're in regret yeah they got backstabbed too it's like someone here is finding out like that this king of pentacles and this fucking like group of goons right here it's like these bitches are being put on blast in the worst fucking ways right now these hoes thought they were super slick and they had everybody like under their fucking spell work or some shit bitch and this is not working like people are fucking starting to like throw these people in the fucking trash pretty much any kind of dealings any kind of communication any kind of anything that is tied to this king of pentacles in the reverse and this ten of cups in the reverse this karmic family dynamic or this group of fucking suckers it's like they are fucking putting this ten of wands down they're like nah these people are fucking liabilities these people are issues and it's, it's like they're involving them in third parties where it's bringing some kind of drama to their business to their um you know love life whatever the case is but it all at the end of the day has to do with some kind of money because these people are benefiting off of other people and there's this emperor here and i do feel like they're realizing that something ain't right here that these people are really actually um let me see what up g code <laughs> what's up who else came on here right now oh shit my bad ah! i didn't mean to invite somebody i don't even know who this person is sorry okay hold on you guys the camera's a little to the side what up jeff yeah and i do feel like um oh i just they just said undercover um yeah this is somebody too that they're realizing that there's somebody here that works close with this king of pentacles in the reverse who could even be um there could be like different people here but there is a king and a queen of swords where these two bitches talk a lot of shit and they come together and they like to make up fucking bullshit these are two people too that are really witty or quick with it when it comes to making up some kind of fucking stories now these two bitches like to talk a lot of shit together 
Mm -hmm. And they know this King of Pentacles in the reverse. They're part of this Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. And they're stressed out. They're overwhelmed because of the investments that they've made. These are people that have like sat back and watched some type of fucking gossip or shit talk. Kind of like... This is the kind of shit they invest in pretty much. They like to fucking start shit to get people to like like them or something like that. Yeah, this is crazy. What? I haven't heard the song in a cool ass minute. <laughs> I want to be your man. Where's OG right now? I need OG up in here from East LA. <laughs> Okay. Whatever investments they've made, they're like sitting back and watching to see if this shit's going to backfire onto you. They wanted you falsely under judgment to where like, yeah, it's like their, their investments coming. Okay, so these fucking hoes like to talk a lot of shit and they like to put people on a spotlight in a negative way. Like, low key, they're like little fucking rats, bro. Like, Loki, these are people that pretty much is up. <laughs> and it's like, um, there's a concert too, by the way. Sorry, I know it's like totally off. There's a concert coming up. I think it's this weekend. Is it? It's not the love affair. It's called, I don't know. But somebody I know is going. I was like, ah. Anyways, yeah. But they have a lot of new, um, like oldies groups now which i fucking love like a whole new generation is fucking um growing you know anyways i don't know where it's gonna be at but it's gonna be in la um all right so but i do feel like they like to have people falsely under judgment and to have people falsely under investigation and this is the type of shit that they um they pretty much invest in so they can be favored and look like they're, you know what I mean? Like, this is how these hoes stay on top of their shit and um, remain in power. And I find it fucking disgusting. Yeah. Somebody here, it's like, now, somebody here could have got released from jail recently and now they don't trust these fucking hoes because they know that these bitches fucking be playing dirty. And people, people didn't catch on to this shit, but now motherfuckers is catching on. What the fuck these little snake-ass, stank-ass hoes is doing. Mm-hmm. And it's like, someone here isn't happy because, like, they didn't get wish fulfillment. I also feel like some... Now, this might not resonate um, with everybody, but these bitches made, like, a promise that they couldn't keep. Something about the bargain what is that saying bargain in your the end of the deal or keep your bargain on the end of the deal or something like that this has to do with like something about like business money fucking work really yeah this is just this is pretty messy bitch but somebody here is no longer in their head if not they literally are getting like released or they got released already and they don't trust they don't trust something here and they're they're upset because Somebody here, um, oops, somebody here, um, they know that somebody here is overindulging as well. So someone here could be overindulging too. That's why they're, they're fucking up. Um, <laughs> the demons have taken over this person's fucking body pretty much. Um, mm. They're trying to block some kind of action here. So it's like someone here is fucking broke and they want to still look like they're this. Like they still want to look like they're in this Nine of Pentacles, bitch, and they're not. Like, bitch, we know that you're full of fuck. <laughs> we know you're full of fuck. Oh, Anthea, if this isn't for you, babe, don't even try to make it fit. Trailer. Hey, this is the drama that Trailer has going on. <laughs> This is the shit that's going on. Yeah, somebody here is no longer in their head about somebody. It's like, um, they definitely aren't seeing something here. Like, they don't trust. Um, or it's like, this is someone that just can't be trusted, period. You know what I mean? Because you know that they overindulge, something like that. Um, and someone here is, like, broke, but they're trying to look like they're independent or something. And someone here, too, is not sleeping with another person as well. That, that also could be, bitch, a... 
the the puss is off limits right now. The puss is off limits. But I feel like, yeah, like, someone here is, like, blocked. Like, you're not sleeping with this person. Like, um, sorry, but you don't get any goods. You ain't getting the goods, bitch. We know you're full of fuck. We know your ass is codependent and need a place to stay, Trader. I'm just playing. <laughs> um, but definitely, it's like, someone here is not getting no action. <laughs> they're blocked not only from taking action, but they ain't getting no action, bitch. Yeah, they're being left out in the motherfucking code, bitch. And someone here is mad because it's like, you know the truth. With this high priestess being here, it's like, bitch, you know something that's hidden. You see how this, this moon is right here? It's the same moon right here. Look. It's like, whatever the fuck was hidden, it's like, you're already knowing. You know this person's hiding shit. Someone here knows somebody is just full of shit. Okay. This is at the bottom of the deck. Now, somebody here... A lot of people are watching you or a lot of people it's like you know a lot of people are like cheering you on or they're on your side pretty much of having like overcoming something okay somebody here too it's like i don't know why i keep getting that something about fucking child support or some shit but it's like someone here is like having victory they're happy you could be getting gifted money excited about a new beginning okay excited about a new chapter in life Okay, but this was at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at this could be you remaining strong or just having a lot of spiritual um like ancestors just watching over you or just, you know, your angels, your guides, whatever. But it's like really you standing in your power, I feel like. Um, really. We all have I feel like ancestors and angels and things like that watching over us, walking with us yeah and i do feel like someone here is like trying to gather the strength also to come in and like give you a, an offer and they're nervous like they don't want you to like somebody here is really nervous because they don't want to leave you or like they don't want you to leave them behind now if this is a new love offer bitch i don't know you take that shit she said done bitch so okay somebody here is nervous as all hell fuck like damn is this person gonna chew me the fuck out is this person even gonna accept my shit is this person like somebody here's a little nervous bitch you give somebody bubble guts risa bitch what's going on bitch yeah someone here does not want you to walk away and it's like they want to come in and express their their self to you like this is somebody that's like all right all right, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell this person today. I'm gonna come in. This person's not gonna walk away, but this person's they're they're stressed out. There's somebody too that you could give this person like fucking, like anxiety in a way, like butterflies maybe. That's for some of you. Someone here isn't like trying to. Hold on. Give me a second. Mm. Hold on for a minute before I say something. I don't want to say something just yet. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So if, yeah. something here has changed, right? It's almost like you've outgrown a cycle, okay? Things have been put to an end. So I don't really want you guys, like, I'm hoping that you guys don't, whatever, just take it where it resonates. Because a lot of things are being rejected, okay? Or it's like you're doing a lot of rejecting. And people know this shit. People know this shit. Like, you're doing a lot of rejecting. Okay, you could have been rejected a lot, all right? But something here is over. So, it's like, I don't exactly, like, feel like collective we should be dwelling on the past or possibly, you know, too much. Because a new cycle is here. Now, it's up to you to go down that new path. It's up to you to reject old people, places, and things. Because 
you've changed. It's like something here has changed, okay? Because a, like you're no longer seeing things for what you want to see them for. You're seeing things for what the fuck they are. And I do feel like with this five of wands in the reverse, this is like things have backfired because you woke up. It's like you got woke, bitch. And this ended a fucking cycle out. With the hair font, the seven of cups in reverse, five of cups in reverse, and then the world card. Like, bitch, this shit changed everything. And not only that, but it's like people were still trying to hang on to your ass, bitch. You're this queen of pentacles in the upright. So, like, bitch, you don't have time for none of this shit. And let me, let's talk about this shit right here. Let's talk about this shit. Now, you're also no longer in your fucking head, I feel like, about who, who did what to you. It's like, this is in the past. Like, something here has already taken place. If this is not in the past, this is not going on now. And this will come to a fucking end. Thank you guys for my gifts, by the way. And this is karma. It's like, somebody here was also... It's like, you're being dished out good karma now. And I do feel like, you know, there's been some kind of a transformation here. Or there could have been, an like, a death. Like, somebody here was willing to, like die to make sure like someone here i feel like loki wanted you like to be in a life in a sense or like was hoping but i do feel like there's a transformation here um something here has definitely ended with this ten of pentacles in the reverse now if people were sitting here trying to fucking like rob you of your time money space energy plot plan scheme um bully you in the background it's like all this shit's it's done you know the truth so it's like now that you know the fucking truth bitch They they can't play you like that, bitch. And people are trying to apologize. And they're upset because they know damn well that your ass is going to reject their ass. And I do feel like, you know, people are still going to try. Especially if they're fucking opportunists. You know, these hoes don't have any disregard when it comes to... Okay, when it does come to certain shit. These hoes have no disregard. And it's crazy because... These are the type of people that it's like, I don't care how uncomfortable you might be with. They know damn well your ass is uncomfortable. It's like, they'll still stick around. It's like, this is, this is somebody that's like, almost like overseeing their welcome. You know what I'm saying? But they still going to try anyways to stay. And it's, it's fucking sad, bitch. Like, you got me fucked up. I'm already, you know what I mean? If I'm feeling some type of way and I know damn well, you don't want me there. I'm not supposed to be there. Like, bitch, I ain't trying to be right there. I am not trying to be right there. Yeah, and it's kind of like, these are people that are like, well, maybe we could just, you know, smooth things over. Fuck it, let's just try. But, and if they bite the bait, they bite the bait type shit. You know what I mean? So they could just... But I do feel like there is somebody else that is coming in that wants to come in with like a genuine apology. Could be this emperor, okay, that does want to come in and they're like, fuck, dude, this person. This person, they might even be like... I don't want to say bad health but like someone here just either they have anxiety or just like they're overall like worn out and something here has backfired big time like someone here is not waiting on another person if you waited on somebody in the fucking past if you really did um do a lot for a certain individual it's like bitch you're not waiting for somebody to fucking change and i do feel like something here backfired and this person is just you know over here, just focus on what the fuck you got going on. If you're this queen of pentacles in the reverse, this person sees you as like a come up. This is somebody who's been spying on your energy, trying to get information about you after they backstabbed your ass. And they're not, it's obvious that things are not okay for this person. If you know this person personally or other people know this person personally and you haven't had any contact, it is so easy to predict whoever the fuck's energy this is. It's something that's like you already know that this person's like not doing well. And everything is not motherfucking fine for this person. Yeah, look at this. King of Pentacles in the fucking reverse again. Here we go. This person wants to have this so bad. This person wants to be... I'm telling... They, this is a wannabe, bitch. This is somebody who's a wannabe. And it's like, they're under judgment. They're, they're over here like, damn. I don't know why I'm under judgment. Like, this person knows damn fucking well. 
and they're now they're caught up in a situation bitch and they're they're not able to it's like after this person try to catch you up in a situation that you're not talking to this person with the knight of cups in the reverse bitch you are not speaking to this person you know damn well this person betrayed you and this person's really dwelling that's why this energy is coming out because this person is dwelling it's like you're moving on you're this person tried something for the last time, I feel like, or this person recently tried some other bullshit again. And I feel like they really shouldn't have done that. And this is, that's it. These are, these are, this is someone that like, I was just going to say over and over again before I even pulled this card out. Over and over, this person has done something repetitively, bitch. This is a repeat offender, bitch. And they're finally like, just there's, they're caught up, bitch. Like that, that's it. There is no putting the blame on someone else, bitch. There is no trying to get out of something or weasel their way out of. Like, bitch, it's done. Like the, you know damn well this person that everybody knows this person. Yeah, this person pretty much embarrassed their damn self. Yep, this person looks like a fucking fool. You've been left that person. You've been left this person. Yeah, this person looks like a damn fool. Look at the knight of swords in the fucking reverse. This is over, bitch. If this person also was like sleeping around with different people, they can't do that anymore, bitch. Ain't no one trying to touch that shit. I finally broke this binding. What up, Trevor? I fucking love you. It's not my person. I'm done with that karmic situation. People are disgusting. People are really gross. Mm. empress again if you're this empress i'm telling you this empress i think this came out well it doesn't have to be the same but there's something about divine feminine energy here what about this empress and this moon mm. yeah If you're this empress, it's like you know that this person hasn't changed. This person likes to fool people. This person could have placed an illusion over you. This person could have, um, I, I don't even want to say could have, they did. But there is an empress here and a lot of secrets have came out about this person not changing and being under some kind of like an illusion here or some kind of like spell work. And this person also having other options. Now you could be somebody that has other options, okay? Or it's like, you know, this person wanted, um, this is somebody too that's like a dictator and they, they want you to do or see shit for what it's not. Emperor, Empress, all of this shit was in the middle here. Somebody here was trying to dictate these two people from being together they placed illusions around this fucking emperor and not only that but it's like this empress it's like you revealed some kind of secrets here about what the fuck was going on loving the music oh you hear it you guys can hear it really good what's up jeff mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah this is somebody that, um, it's like you could have spoke some kind of truth here on the situation. But it's like whatever. This thing in the middle here. It's like somebody here totally, completely didn't want something to change. And there was a lot of um, illusions over this emperor here. And this empress was like, no, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and like, we're going to, we're going to get to the bottom of the shit. So like you revealed some shit to, to this emperor. What up, Amanda? That's what they tried to do. Point out everything he didn't do for me. 
someone here is speaking the truth and it's like, you know, not only that, but it's like you've cut out a lot of shit and now someone here is realizing like, wait a minute, you don't even talk to these people anymore or something like that. It's like if you've cut out a lot of people, places, things, you walked away from shit, someone here is in regret because it's like whatever tower had happened in the past, it's like it wasn't what, yeah, it threw a lot of things off balance or it's like it wasn't what um, someone thought it was or something like that. And it literally threw a lot of things off. Like this could have like put somebody into an addiction. This could have made you drink. This could have made you like want to fucking get high. Like, you know, yeah. With magic here, it's like somebody here was trying to manifest a fucking tower to throw you off balance. But it's like someone here is standing in their power and they're taking charge with this um, queen of swords and the magician on, on the side of, of these. Somebody here, too, could have tried to come in and, like, tell you some bullshit while they're over here loaded, trying to fucking make plans to cause some kind of a tower, too. Like, somebody's a fake ass. Someone here could want to apologize for some shit that happened in the past. Someone here could have also been under some kind of heavy illusions. Yeah, look at overindulgence, I feel like. Mm-hmm. If somebody here made bad choices, it was because they were fucking getting loaded or this is what the fuck they're going to say or some bullshit. They see you as wish fulfillment. Your whole lifestyle could have changed. Like someone's mask has fallen completely the fuck off. Amanda, <laughs> wait, how the fuck are people just coming on here without, I mean, whatever, that's fine. Hold on. Why is this not, you can invite, trying to shut off the microphone because it sounds like something's squeaking in the background. What up, baby? This is so weird. All right, can you guys hear me? That's the second time today, right? I'm telling you, it's the weirdest shit. What up, what up, Evelyn? All right, cool, you guys could hear me. All right, I don't know, that was the second time today. I was like over here thinking about that shit all day today too, like what the fuck? Anyways, okay, cool. <laughs> what up, shout out to Vegas, what up, Evelyn? <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, I don't mind Amanda, bitch, you know, but um, I don't know what that noise is in the background. Um, can you can hear that noise? Yeah, I can hear it. I was like, where the fuck is that shit coming from? And then I looked and I was like, oh, shit, what's up? <laughs> is it the crickets chirping in the background? Is that what you're hearing? Yes, that, is that what that is? Yeah. That is so funny. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. That's so funny. I was like, what the hell is that? Yeah, that is a cricket. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, it sounds like a cricket. Yep. Did it just log you on? I mean, it asked me and I was like, it okay. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know if it's like a challenge or something because there's like, I don't know. I don't even read these challenge. things on here. So that's probably what it was. It's probably just picks random people to throw you guys on, which is fine. I don't care. <laughs> um, Let me think. Well, I guess since we're on, is there anything you want to talk about? Bring up, ask. What are we doing right now? Nothing? Just chilling? I'm, uh, 
I'm working on a very tiny mini- miniature uh, fairy mushroom house out of clay. How cool. Do you sell these things online? Yeah, I'm, I'm well, I'm, I'm going to try to. Yeah. Are you really? I want to see it. Are you posting it on your page? Um, I mean, I haven't, but I, I will. I'm kind of interested to see that one because um, I have a friend of mine. Their daughter's like super into fairies. Uh-huh. And uh, actually, yeah, that would be kind of interesting if I could see that, if you don't mind. Let me see. Can I turn my camera on? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, no. It just shows you really small in the... Let me see. To invite him, I have to invite you to do it. Like, there you are. Hold on. Let me see this. <laughs> I don't know how to make you big. Oh, wait. I'm just going to make my forehead really big. You might not be able to change the size of it. Can I see it? Oh, Let's yeah. See. Oh, my God. How cute. Yeah. I fucking love it. And I'm like working on little dots on top right now. That is so cool. Right on. Mailbox. There's like a little mushroom mailbox. <laughs> that is so cute. I fucking love it. Right on. I wish I had the other ones to show. I mean, I, I've made a whole bunch that are like way bigger, but um, yeah, they're, they're not super out. cute. Amanda's yeah. super artsy fartsy, dude. I fucking love it. Super love it. Starting. This one's bigger. I love that. Oh, there we go. Expand. There we go. Now I can see you. Okay, much better. Yeah. So, this is the this is the next one I'm gonna work on super cute and they just they dry or you have to put them is it like you know when you put them in the oven uh, polymer clay so i have to bake them in the oven yeah yeah that's cool right on oh, yep you're always working on something huh i mean yeah and i usually just yeah. have you know, i just listen to stuff in the background but i always like uh listening to oh thanks What's going on right on well fucking let's see invite other people let me see who else on here all right, I'm just gonna send random invites, like a random fucking chat. Let's see, Watson, or Trevor, my Angelica, Lisa, what's up, bitch? What's on here? Jeff, you don't have to if you want if you don't want to. Rachel Gangster, decorating lighter. What's on here? Baby, are you on here, bitch? All of my life. <laughs> I finally wanted this, and I Did have you? it. <laughs> my life is complete. Hey, Your life you? is complete. Yeah, I can hear you guys. Sorry, I don't want to turn on my camera because I'm looking kind of kind of rough right now. <laughs> no judgment, okay? No judgment, bitch. I'm going to say G code. Picking up being the big one. <laughs> I don't have to fucking accept oh, that. We're all in here. What? What's on here right now? Thank God, because my fingers hurt. How are you, Trevor? I'm doing well. Yeah? How's everybody doing? Legit, legit have been chilling all weekend. Barely left the house. <laughs> really? And resting. Well, like I said, I think I told you, um, I actually got woken up out of my sleep Friday morning by yeah. clenching down so hard on my teeth that I broke the bottom teeth. Oh, my God. Oh. And my dentist can't see me until Monday morning. <laughs> what up, Watson? Sorry, That's you guys sorry. hear my dog snoring, too. What up? <laughs> that was my dog snoring in the back. Aww. No worry, Risa, I totally understand. Everybody's sleeping in my fucking house. I was like, no, nah, everybody's getting back on schedule. Fuck this shit. Just got done cleaning the pad. What up? What up, Angelica? What up? How are you? What's I'm doing good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Angelica, are you from LA or you're like 
You're not from out here. Are you guys all from different states, huh? Um, I'm from I'm Denver. From okay. Tampa. Arizona. Arizona. But Cali too. But Arizona right now. Arizona. Right on, right on. Yeah, dude, that shit sucks. You know what? I'm getting a deep cleaning too this month, so I'm excited. Or next month, so I'm excited. A lot of people are going to the dentist. I know this for some random ass reason. I'm getting a mani pedi and a brow wax tomorrow. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Right on. Yeah, what up, yeah. Jeff? What up? What up? How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. I'm coming to LA soon. Are you? Yeah, Dude, you guys out. always say that. You guys never fucking come out. Liz said she was coming out. Bitch never came. Let's do lunch. I'm down. I'm super down. Southwest flights have been daughter. ridiculous. Have they? <laughs> I've My only daughter. flown a couple times. My daughter just moved out to LA. Did she really? How's she liking it? She works for NFL uh, Films. Does she really? Right on? Yeah, so I'm coming out to see her for about a week. She okay. lives in um, Marina Del Rey. Does she? Really? Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let me know. Let I'm me know. You up. For sure. Hit me up. Yeah, definitely. I'm super down with that. Actually, my dad has a boat out there, Marina Del Rey. Really? Yeah. Um, pull up on here. Let's see. Well, you see my Archangel Michael tattoo? I did. I think I seen it on you. Well, let me see. You see it? Let me see. I can't see you. You're you're only like talking, so like it shows your profile pic, but it doesn't show like your actual like like you. Let's see if I can. If you tap your profile pic, then That's it'll fine. show the camera. Right. And you have to click the camera and then hit save. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you have it tatted at? Right on my chest. Do you really? That's up? nice. Yeah, why the fuck ain't this working? I don't know. I don't. You know what? I was in a Zoom meeting the other day, and like I couldn't. Couldn't get it. It says your connection's using audio only. Huh. Uh, the, uh, the live host. Uh, on invite screen. invites you for the video, I think. Where it says audio, oh, I have to do it. The top, you should be able to to pick sure. the camera mm -hmm. icon. Sometimes you have to have uh, at least five hundred followers. Oh, I see, I see. Did I mute cam? Or this? Are you muted? Muted yourself? I don't know. You can invite. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I think you muted it. You're back. Anyways. Oh my, okay, so we've all, I feel so old. We've all came in here and done a live together. Yes. It is. Uh, it is, it is <laughs> and it is 2.22, my time. Same here. Where are you, Where are you at? Here. My first time. Yeah, it's 2.22 here. Uh, yeah, two. 22 in Kelly. Yeah, Tampa, 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 Florida. 1123. I'm in Jersey. Jersey. Dirty Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go out to Jersey. I was thinking that. I was like, dude, I want to move to New York. That was like my plan forever, and I never went. I got stuck out here. <laughs> you could still go to New York. Right? And then I wanted to move to Vegas. Someday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then I never did. I almost moved to Vegas. Sounds like something's got you stuck in LA. You get stuck out here, man. I bet it's not a bad place to be. It's not. I can't complain. I would love to see it. Don't lie. I went to Laguna like three years into COVID. Don't lie. Don't, don't. It, it can be a shit show, but there's good yeah. parts of town. <laughs> Nowhere to be in LA. Always like go with a local. Probably I best. guess. Yeah, that's true. You don't want to get lost in the wrong no. walk. <laughs> it's funny because, like, in certain places, you can go, like, one way, and you're in, like, Skid Row, and then you go, to like, another way, and you're, like, in this really nice yeah. area. Like, so two and a half blocks apart. 
Literally. Okay. <laughs> That's so true. Even like the drive, like I hate driving at night because like, you know, there's like one way streets and shit. Mm-hmm. That's a burnout. I thought everybody was just used to yielding to everybody because we're all like driving wrong at night in Venice. Yeah. <laughs> Forget that. Stay at home. Sit. Walk. I skate. <laughs> right? Yeah, take a walk. Have some pepper spray and a taser. Hey. <laughs> I always have a knife. I don't fuck around. I grew up in California. Right? I mean, I don't know. Whatever is appropriate for TikTok. Thank you, Angelica. Yep, yep. Anyways, um, all right, I'm going to continue. I guess I'm just going to continue. Does anybody have any questions? Tiny Tarot. Tiny Tarot. I was just going to grab it right now. Mm-hmm. Tiny Tarot. All right, let's see Tiny Tarot. Three 500 followers. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. All right, guys. Make today awesome. Those are the positive, the little tiny affirmations. So we're going to make tomorrow awesome, I guess, or tonight, whatever. I mean, where you guys are. Feel out. Everybody seems to be just chilling. Let's see here. Somebody here is like, they, um, maybe this is what the fuck somebody needs to do. If someone here is, um, fiery, possibly. Yeah. Mm -mm. Someone here could be like doing magic or possibly doing like, um, some form of like divination with this King of Wands in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here could be getting like some kind of bad news. Okay. Oh, somebody here is playing with magic or somebody here has been like fucking around with like dark magic or some shit like that. This is like a male specifically. Or somebody that's in a masculine energy. It's like... They didn't get the outcome they thought they were going to get. And they're thinking about what they did to you. Yeah, regrets. They're in huge regret right yeah, now. Yeah. They've been they're throwing thinking, magic. Yeah, they've been throwing magic for years. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> this this is somebody that literally nine of swords in the reverse. Yeah. Th- this is somebody like, uh, who... Seems like karma's starting to knock on the door. <laughs> this is someone that can't stop thinking about it. So it's like they're in their head a lot. Like they know exactly. It's like you're chilling. You know what I mean? It's like you're having good days or it's like you're just it's not on your um, conscious about anything because it's not like you did anything to this person to fuck them over. And I feel like this is someone who's definitely they're thinking a lot about what the fuck they did. Yeah. And they know that you don't trust this person. I've never been so balanced in my life. I'm I'm so calm. Whatever they throw at me is just backfiring. Facts, yeah. facts, facts. I don't even need Zoloft anymore. Look at the magician <laughs> in the reverse. <laughs> this is sad. This is so sad. It's like this is somebody too. Like this magic is in the reverse. The two of swords. It's like this person is blinded by the same shit that they were throwing at you. Yeah. Like for real, for real. Like this is this is pretty serious. I've had a couple of these reads this last few um few days about black magic. Yeah. Well you've done several readings for me, you know the deal. Yours have been so crazy. Like the reading, I, I that shit kinda like freaked me out. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, yeah, listen. How many of you guys just reads? I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> I swear to God. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I've only had like a yeah, I've had maybe like three of you guys where I'm like, wow, like Yeah. I've been going through it for a while, but now that I know how to protect myself, um, they can't touch me. Yeah. Once you're aware of it, really, it's like, oh shit, you know. I still got the crystals I bought from him. Do you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You made me a necklace. I still wear. Yeah, keep those. Oh yeah. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. 
these these Texas, baby, yeah, four, four, yeah four 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 all the way look at this the magician in the reverse and then we have the moon in reverse i'm telling you all of this shit has came out and it's it's pretty sad because it's like people are moving on with their life but these people are stuck um as above yeah, so okay. below baby you know the deal. Nine of cups. it's like you're happy you know it's like you're happy you're having wish fulfillment with underneath it, it, this is underneath the make today awesome so it's like you're happy you know, grateful. I think the whole collectives are getting happy. Shit's starting to work in all directions. Yeah, look, chill out. And then the death card here, it's like something here has ended. This is for sure a big ending. And I feel like this is also about you going through transformation or this person literally going through like a spiritual transformation. Um, This is like them going through like a dark night of the soul, but you're like just chilling. Don't have to be a water sign. You could be, but you don't have to be. But I do feel like um, I'm water sign all the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, are you? Pisces. I'm a water sign too. I'm are you really? Mm -hmm. I'm a Pisces. Right on. Yeah. Shout out to the water signs. We got the crew going here, baby. Right. <laughs> Pisces rising. So I mean, Pisces rising. That's still a water. That's basically you're a water sign. Uh, that's yeah. how I am. That's not yeah. how I appear. <laughs> I appear every little bit of a Taurus, but deep down inside, oh yeah, Pisces, all day. But your rising doesn't, isn't your rising what you present to the world initially? It's how people see you. Or how yeah. people see you, okay. Yeah, pretty much. Gotcha. It's kind of like, if, like, you're, you're, I feel like, Trevor, you seem like a very nice, like, very nice person, you know, like a very um, compassionate or very, um, definitely, oh, okay. I know. I would prefer to be kind. <laughs> yes, a very kind person. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love yeah, that. That word nice, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, no, he's a nice guy. Stay away. I am not a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well, I, really am a, a nice <laughs> I am a kind person with boundaries. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we go out and spread the love and light, but yeah, don't fuck with us. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. We don't have uh, to use our dark side, though. Very dark. Yeah, we'll just flood your shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget, don't forget, I got that ninth house Scorpio in Libra placement. So, hey, people see me as they treat me. You know, if they're treating me shit, they're out of my life quickly. If they're treating me good, they'll be there for a while. You know, and get the same good treatment back. Like you get what you give. Yeah, use your discernment really well. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, no Amanda's like, I have no water. You have no water, right? Aren't you all fire and fire and earth? Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm fire and air. Yeah, fire and air. There you go. Fire. And air. You have no water. Um, the only earth I have in my chart is my south node in Capricorn. Really? Ooh. Fucking love it. Every I, mostly everything is Libra. Yeah, my right you're sorry. You have no water. I was like, that's crazy. I've never met anyone that has no water. Yeah, my my uh, rising is Aries and my moon is in Gemini. Hmm. I'm kind of I'm all over the place. You're a fucking fireball, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm still. That's why she's here with all the water. She's like trying to calm down. Yeah, I know. I have a shit ton of uh, fire and air. That's for sure. It's so hard for me to be grounded. Really? Yeah, I can see that. I have to like lay out in the grass, like you know, like get my hands in the dirt because. Oh, wow. I love it. You're always doing something, huh? I was yeah. sitting in a public park on Friday night for about two and a half hours, just meditating. And I tell you what, like hundreds of people had to walk by me seeing me doing it, but I was oblivious to all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care, fuck it, who cares? You should be. That's right. <laughs> At this point, you all know we don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. No. <laughs> Whatever no, they think is a reflection no. of themselves. Exactly. Exactly. Hopefully, <laughs> I inspired people to do it. <laughs> I like that. I grew up in the desert. I usually go to different spots, but nobody knows where I'm at because I hike too far in. We move do inside. You really? Yeah. For real. I just go to the middle of fucking nowhere. And it's so quiet for my autistic ass and my energy. Like nice. I can just reach it. So like when I'm around, when I'm around nothing and no one, it's the most peaceful fucking silence I could possibly have. Yeah, no distraction. No distraction. Yeah. I agree. 
I enjoy yeah. I like rock hounding by myself in the middle of no. That's what I've been it's doing too. <laughs> I found this fat like Jasper so beautiful. It's huge. It's huge. I don't understand that when people can't be by themselves. I don't understand that. Yeah. My kids, they have like that's another thing. They're like, I'm bored, no one wants to play with me. I'm like, Well, no I don't need to tell you tough shit. Go find something to do. Well, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go walk into my closet. I'm gonna be in Narnia for a couple hours. See you. Right. Go burn uh, ants with a freaking mic. I used to be uh, scared of being alone, but for the last two years I've been alone. So like now I feel like I don't even know how I'm going to be like if I'm get with somebody. I think I, I don't even want to get with anybody. I just want to be by myself. You need space. Yeah. Yeah. I need time. It's all yeah. divine time, baby. You'll get it. It's all there's, divine time. There's no competition there, but they are competing with my solitude. <laughs> mhm. Mm I definitely yeah. want to be alone, and I love my peace now. Oh my gosh! Isn't it? I don't mind it. To anybody. You don't have to be considerate of another person. You can just do whatever the hell you want, when you want. How That's you exactly, want. exactly what I want, when I want. When I, I, I want, eliminate. where I want. <laughs> I had yeah. to eliminate pretty much everybody out of my life, and guess what? I'm okay with that. It feels good though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's amazing. Someone wants to control me like that in a relationship, they don't have a shot. No. <laughs> Fucking Aries rising, Scorpio moon, Pisces sun. No, 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 no. <laughs> Five plants of Capricorn. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Adios, baby. You better have your yeah. shit to get it. <laughs> the least my worry should be you worried about my every step. What? No, thank you. They should also get interest. Go to a concert. Fucking yeah. do something. Read a book. <laughs> Read a book. Yeah. It's gotta be equal give and take, baby. Or it just is not gonna work. Yeah, I just have. I don't know. I've I've attracted people in the past that like would start mimicking me. Yeah. Uh, that and is just doing really like rude. imposter shit. And, chameleon. And, <laughs> I don't one know. Time, Maybe chameleon. I, I don't know how to read the energy. It was <laughs> the boyfriend. Energy. The, the boyfriend the chameleon. I've, <laughs> I've had a couple like, girlfriend chameleons. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like you are just whoever you say you are today. That's fine if you're manifesting a better self, but it's different if you're a different person every single day. It's a lot to wake up to. <laughs> no. That's like fixer energy. No offense to anyone. Like, who are we yeah, dealing with today? <laughs> <laughs> no. I had a friend of mine, right? A good friend of mine. And uh, when I was going through my awakening, he was um, kind of like um, watching. You know, he was around a few times when I was going through my awakening. Next thing you know, he started dressing like me, right? Talking like me. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, dude, you're not me, okay? Stop trying to be me. So I had a. <laughs> I had, to let, I had to let him go, man. I just had to let him go. I said, love you. I love you, bro, but from way over here, okay? You got to go. Uh -huh. no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're flattering, but then, like, you're, like, nervous to post that video because that's too much information about your street, but you really want to post it, but now you don't because that person follows you. <laughs> you know what? It's funny because, like, a friend of mine was saying that. She's like, I don't know. And I was like, you know what it is, bitch, is that sometimes people are really super um, sensitive, I guess, to other people's energy or, like, the I don't know. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're maybe like in like fifth grade or some shit. But I don't know. As like an adult, you should know kind of who you are. But mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just like people to be them. Same. <laughs> so Same. we accept you for who you are. Yeah, you don't gotta light a kick it around here. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to light a kick that thing like forever. <laughs> Well, I guess that shows my age then. <laughs> You're still young at heart. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. I was being a bad influence on my roommate's kids earlier. They were like, stop throwing the ball. I was like, throw the ball. You are horrible. You'd be I wasn't so trying to be horrible. Bad. I was trying to play because they were like, want to play. Give me the look, like, want to play. And I was like, okay. But they had already been told to stop with the ball. I didn't know that, so I walked in the room, okay? Walk in the house! I even said, I'm sorry, I'm bad influence. I'll walk away. I didn't realize it. 
got in trouble, trouble already. Yeah. But they weren't like big trouble. It was just like pay stop, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, you're grounded. You can't live here anymore. Sorry. Uh, yeah, like, it was not that serious. <laughs> <laughs> we all left it off because yeah i put myself in time out <laughs> shame shame <laughs> no i need quiet time like right now is like my quiet time so i was like all right cool it's 11 30 took a late ass nap i woke up by myself with the dog like where the hell did everybody go <laughs> but uh, it was a nice little nap TikTok's, like put people in your life you're like how <laughs> <laughs> She was the only one that waited there for me mm. to wake up. Fucking <laughs> dog, dude. Oh. She's so funny. Like she was like, "Oh, you're awake," you know. As soon as she saw that I was awake, yeah. she wants to come lay with me. Oh. She's like eighty pounds, ninety pounds. Wants to come lay with me. Like she's five pounds. I'm like no, get on me. <laughs> but there's a lap dog. She really but... is. Like, she doesn't realize how big she is. My poor doggy. Does anyone else have a dog? Huh? Okay. I have a dog. She thinks she's a pit bull, but she's a Frenchie. Mm. <laughs> she oh, you know what? She's a pit bull. She's... <laughs> she really thinks she's a pit bull. That's funny. All right. You, you have a what? A Morty and four uh, teacup Yorkies. <laughs> oh, you have teacup doggies? Yeah. She's mm -hmm. anyone? My youngest is um, five months and she's two pounds. Oh my god. Real <laughs> boozy, boozy, yeah. I got a real cute purse for her. Aww. So cute. She's going to be real tiny. They're all tiny. All my dogs <laughs> together weigh 23 pounds. Do they all bark? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> if someone's around me or. Dude, my mom has gotten special. like her dog's voice like take. I was like, why would you do that? You are horrible. Very she was tiny. like, it, it barks too much. It's like, so they do, they do. But they're doing, they're learning. They're just young, so they're doing really good action. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> I was like, in next lifetime, you're gonna pay, bitch. You're not gonna have a voice next lifetime. Dare you? <laughs> Yeah, dude, took their fucking voice box out or some shit. That thing like almost died. Oh, but oh. he's like, why the fuck would you do that? I don't know. This is fucking weird. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go because it's already it's gonna be midnight. But have an awesome day, peace. Hey, yeah, yeah, love you, Soul Tribe. Good night, God bless. Yeah, this was amazing. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, guys. We'll talk Good night. to you later. Right. Bye guys. Bye Jeff. Bye everyone. So, bye. So. Uh, bye Trevor. <laughs> bye Watson. I'll be booking my lessons. Who else can I I don't know. Love you.